Welcome to this week's Hymn of the Week. This week we have ELW 391, This Joyful Easter Tide. And the text is by George Woodward. Uh, it was written to go with the tune Freusten, uh, which we see is the same tune here, and it was included in Carols for Easter and the Ascension in 1894, and also in the Cowley Carol Book, or Cowley Carol Book for Christmas in 1902. Uh, the refrain really has a lot to do with 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Here's verses 12 to 14 out of the New Revised Standard Version. Now if Christ is proclaimed as raised from the dead, how can some of you say there is no resurrection of the dead? If there is no resurrection of the dead, then Christ has not been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, then our proclamation has been in vain, and your faith has been in vain. So we can see, uh, as we read through the refrain here, as Christ who once was slain up burst his three-day prison, our faith had been in vain, but now has Christ arisen. Obviously it's following more out of verse 14 there of chapter 15 of 1 Corinthians. The tune Freusten comes from a popular 17th century Dutch tune, uh, De Liefde Fortgebracht, which would be the love brought forth. And it was also in the 1902 collection I mentioned earlier. But it, what's interesting is, and I, I experience this a lot with this tune, is some people think it's, why is it so easy to sing? Uh, because it looks complicated and it, it has a wide range. Well, it's very easy. The answer for that is repetition. We see that first line, right? Okay, and then the second line, of course, the same. So that's the verse already. It's just the same line again. But here's what's great about the refrain. We have a sequence where the pattern starts on a different note, uh, but it's the same interval. So if we see this when we get to, but now has Christ, uh, let's find it there. A risen, a risen, a risen. So actually, I started a little too early. It's the a risen, a risen, a risen. Okay, so it's that interval of the fourth. Also, the popular interval used for uh, the bridal march, which has that uh, very much of that regal feel to it, does it not? So hopefully I didn't ruin <laughs> the hymn for you. Uh, it's well, small joke there. Let's put that aside. But either way, um, it's very nice to have that um, sequence there because what happens is it feels like it's rising. And the other reason why I think it's easy to sing, and this is a great warm-up for choirs if any of you conduct choirs, is the scale. It's a scale at the end, a nice descending scale. Florid, too. So it's a great warm-up uh, to practice with choirs, and it also, with the dotted rhythm, makes it easier, I think, for the notes to fall, and it challenges the choir to stay more together. Uh, not that I'm trying to uh, push warm-ups for you, uh, but it's a great exercise even for singing to practice that E-flat major feel. Uh, so here is this joyful Easter tide.
always great to have fun with those sequences at the end and really bring out the melismatic nature of the piece. Um, uh, so thank you very much for listening to Hymn of the Week.